Hey everyone, so I'm coming to you guys today since a lot of you guys are asking. I decided to go ahead and do the um baking soda with the lime. And here's the lime. Now the problem I'm having, I have a fresh lime here. And the only problem is the lime, it just isn't as um it's not producing a lot of juice like I was hoping and wanting for so I don't even um as you guys can see really that's how much I'm getting out so I'm just gonna work with what I have and try and show you guys it like this so as you guys can see it has a paste um Smells a little funny, just like how the lemon did, also. So, okay. Right now, what I'm gonna do is my room is really, really messy. So, what I'm gonna do is just show you guys. Like I said, this is um a little easier than um than it is. For if you have, um, okay, so this is the right side, which is my problem side. And as you can see, with this side lately, I have just been using it with the lemon and baking soda, and it's really been clearing up for me. So I'm still trying to pour some lemon juice in there. I, don't know. I didn't get a lot, so, anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and now this video is for everyone who kept asking, well, can you do it with lime? Can you not do it with lime? I don't know. So here it is. I apply it right there where my stretch marks are. And as you can see, it still has like the lime little, uh -oh, the lime in it. So I'm just going to work with what I have. And I stretch it and I begin to rub in my baking soda to mix with your stretch marks. I don't know how well you guys are seeing this, but I'm just massaging it in. And I feel for best results, results, it's better if you do it when you're not in the shower. So I'm just doing this. Yeah, I don't really like <laughs> the line. I just did it for those who kept asking for it. So that's that side. I'm just gonna let that sit. And then with the um my right side, no my left side, which is not a problem side for me at all when it comes to my stretch marks. This side I'm gonna go ahead and apply it with the lemon. And ouch, like I told a lot of you guys on, um, not a lot, but I did tell some people on YouTube who had been asking, um, and giving me a lot of questions that this would be like a two in one video basically with the lime and the lemon. It's just so that you guys really can, can see the difference and see, see how when I pour the lemon, the lemon has more juice than that lime did. And then too, like I said, I know that lemon uh, helps get rid of dark marks and fading. That's why I was using it and I couldn't speak on the lime because I, I wasn't too sure on the lime. So I dipped my towel in the lemon and as you guys can see, right now I just begin and because I have a tattoo right there, I am very gentle with where I am putting the baking soda at. And I'm just scrubbing it right there in that area. If you guys can see that. Because I only had it in a certain spot. And so once you're finished, you would go ahead back to the right side 
and place that lemon juice on the stretch marks so that you could um so that it could help with the dark marks now i don't know <laughs> how well that line is going to work and then here it is where i have my lemon on my left side and i'm applying it and i just have it there and because i'm back in the dorms i don't have my towels and everything so that i can um rinse it in water and keep it going so i'm just going to um go ahead and rinse this stuff off for you guys but i just want to show you guys the difference um that line looks like it's it's doing pretty well as you can see i'm just really showing you guys the stretch marks just so you guys can see because some people be like oh i don't see them so they are there and as you guys can see i have um cut my hair and sorry that you guys may be watching ah, watching it at an angle just because of the fact that um of how my camera was set up so a lot of people are probably watching me at an angle instead of um how it is but i'll try and when i go through and edit to um turn it a right way so that you guys can see it and these are so far how the lemon and lime looks i'll come back with a couple of days to show you guys how the stretch marks look what's different but this is easier because you don't have to use the water and i think the water was really messing a lot of people up because it was too many steps so the lemon should help you out or the lime whichever you prefer and that's another thing you have to find what is right for your skin type because for my skin type and skin tone the lemon works better and so does baking soda i don't know about baking powder and i'm not too sure online so that's all up to you um you know my skin tone is a little darker so the lemon helps fade if it helped fade dark marks on my face i figured it could help also with my skin tone because the same darkness i was popping up on my face was popping up on my skin so it's for you guys to try but like i said all you need is baking soda and um and a lemon so and it doesn't matter how much juice you use and also on the baking soda it doesn't matter how much you use you can use very little because you're just depending on how big your stretch marks are or where area they're in and also i've had my stretch marks for maybe about i don't know five years i'm not too sure because i really didn't start paying attention until i did get older and noticing that those were stretch marks before i really never paid attention to them and it didn't bother me so this is a update video and also more like a quick and easier step video for you guys on how to get rid of stretch marks hope you enjoyed and subscribe